Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Isle of Armor DLC. Today, we are gonna be exploring around looking for more max mushrooms. I looked into this and how this works is that every time you do Dynamax Raid, there's a chance a max mushroom will pop up. I think every time it's guaranteed to pop up, but where it pops up might be different every time. There are four different spots it can be. I think there's one in the fo Forest to Focus, Courageous Cavern, Brawler's Cave and um, Warm Up Tunnel. So we're gonna be checking each of those areas looking for more Max Mushrooms. I've been doing a couple of raid battles, so I'd hope that they would be showing up a little more often now. So we're just gonna take a look in those places and sort of find out together. Cause I think I need two more mushrooms before I can, oh, there's a lick tongue again. I don't think I need that. Um, but I need two more mushrooms before I can get to what I'm looking for, um, which of course is to get Urshifu to Gigantamax. That's my next big thing, of course. We're gonna be keep grinding with this until we can get more Pokemon Gigantamax. Oh, I need Cramorant. Let's go ahead and get Cramorant. If I see any more extra Pokemon I can catch, of course, along the way, we're gonna go for it. We ca caught and evolved so many Pokemon last episode. I think our Pokedex is currently at like 141. Oh, we already have Cramorant. Well, never mind. you're getting blasted. I didn't remember that. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Cramorant's part of uh, the Galarian area, isn't he? All right, or she for this one. Um, also, there are two Pokemon in my team, Tangle and Lickitung. I need to actually go back to um, a Poke stop and go to a guy who will teach them moves that they have forgotten because they both need a certain move to evolve. Oh, okay, well this is not working the way I wanted it to. Okay, get back over this way. But in this cave is where a potential one of the mushrooms can show up, so I definitely want to go in and try to figure things out. But also, let's talk to you. Um, oh, oh, maybe you have a Weezing from here? Um, how about trading it for a Galarian Weezing? You're trading, okay, well I've already done that. I don't have one now, because I've already done that and got a normal Weezing out of it, so. Can't help you, sorry. But if I find another one, I'll give it to you. I mean, I don't know if I need a normal Weezing again. Pincursion is another new one um, that I don't have. So let's go say hi to you. Yep, got a little Pincursion right here. Oh, it's so cute, I love it. <laughs> so we'll try to catch this Pokemon real quick, for real this time. I definitely don't have this one. Now, does Pincurchin evolve? Oh, I should probably get more Quick Balls as well, shouldn't I? So, oh, there's our critical throw. We'll have to look around at some stuff, but for right now, um, we should be able to figure this out to some degree. So, Pincurchin does not evolve at all. Interesting. Seems like a Pokemon that would, but I guess it doesn't. So, there we go, another one for the Pokedex, our first one of today. Uh, Pink Urchin's date will be added to the Pokedex. It is a sea urchin Pokemon electric type. It stores electricity in each spine. Even if one gets broken off, it still continues to emit electricity for at least three hours. Wow, pretty effective. So we're going to put that in a box for right now. And let's see what else we can get done around here. So I think this is a dead end over this way. So we'll just have to look around to see if we have, oh, there's a, there's a Dynamax thing here. What is this then? Oh, Dark Steel. I'll have to keep this in mind. I mean, I guess I could go for this right now just for the fun of it. Um, I think it's just Ponyard though, so don't know if it's worth getting super invested in, but I mean, if I can get some easy Dynamax stuff done. Um, Dark Steel, I'll have to see what I have that's really good against that, but if I have something, I'll take advantage. So, good news, um, fighting is good against both Dark and Steel, so we could get Dot out here because Fire is also good against Steel, right? I believe, um, maybe I'm wrong about that. No, 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 I'm right. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get Dot out of this for this one. Um, this would probably be the most effective situation. So I should have her right over this way. So we're gonna select that. She has G Max and everything. We've checked it out in a previous episode, but I might as well just do it here. Um, it should be some easy turnout too. Of course, if we can just win, it means we get extra rewards that I'll definitely be using sooner or later. And that's all I'm looking for really. Okay, let's give it a go. So yep, I was right, it is Pawnyard. I mean, it looked like it, and the typing was right, so not too big of a surprise there. Of course, it's not G-Max or anything, but I wasn't really expecting that given the situation. Uh, so we are just going to immediately go into Dynamax and do super effective G-Max Fireball. Why not? Sounds good to me. So yeah, let's try this out a little bit. And it's, it's just good practice, too. I mean, we have quite a lot of wishing pieces, too, if I end up trying to look for those. But I'm not too worried about it for the time being. As you can see, Here's Dot. So she's ready to go. She's level 82 as well. So she's getting up there. That's always nice. I love the little sprite art for all the G Max Pokemon on the bottom left. That always looks so cool. So, G Max Fireball. Let's see how this does. 
Oh, ho, 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 that's what I'm talking about. More than half of Ponyard's health taken down, it's getting desperate. I would be too, gotta be honest. Um, so we should be able to win this, no problem. Everyone else is gonna keep working on their health, and it looks like we also have a Heat more here, so that's also going to have super effective moves if they actually use them. Um, Thunderbolt, not gonna do much, uh, that's fine. Fire Lash, though, is pretty good. That's super effective, yep. They're gonna use Max Darkness on, I think, yeah, that was Heat more. Not that big of a deal. We'll be fine, as long as we can hit at least one more G-Max Fireball. So fight, G-Max Fireball, Pawnyard. If you used Helping Hand. Okay, so yeah, here we go again. Amazing. Super effective. And there we go, we got it. Ponyard is weak, throw a Pokeball now. So, let's just, it doesn't really matter, we'll just use a normal Pokeball because we have a Ponyard, I'm just catching this for the fun of it. <laughs> well, I guess I could have chose to not catch it, but I mean, why wouldn't I catch it, you know? Might as well. More than this, it's about the rewards. You know, the extra experience candy, the Dynamax candy, that'll definitely be useful sooner or later. Come on now, and we get it. Yes, we can. Awesome. So there we go. Pawnyard was caught. Glad to see it, for sure. Um, Experience Candies M, L, uh, Dynamax Candy, Armrite Ore, Mago Berry, Quala Fairy, Star Piece, Flash Cannon, Gyro Ball. Cool. Yep, those are out of the way now. And no nickname for Pawnyard. We're just gonna send you to a box. So there we go. There's another Dynamax battle done. So I gotta keep looking for these mushrooms, but maybe that'll increase the chances of them being around. Who knows? <laughs> okay, so we're back out here for now. And I'm just sort of looking around, and this is sort of unfortunately what we have to do. It's not the most entertaining. I should have all these Pokemon. But it's just sort of about running around and looking for the potential mushroom spot. Not here, but there is another Dynamax battle. This is Cramorant. Water dark this time. So you know what? We're just gonna keep with Jazzy. Uh, I do want to check first um, for Jazzy. Check summary. How is he doing? Is he good on health right now? I guess I don't get to see that here. Where do I? Where can I see that? Um, I want to make extra sure. <laughs> I want to make extra sure he's healed. I don't know why it doesn't tell me there. That seems just silly for the game to do that. Okay, we're at full now. We're full. Okay, so Jazzy should be able to handle this one no problem. We're just going to go right into it because it's, it's water. Just take the advantage of that. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be about grinding out some Dynamax battles, getting some good experience that way. Then, oh, look, Avery's teaming up with us. Thank you, Avery. I didn't know the main characters could. I thought it was just always random like NPCs that you would just find in battles and stuff, just random characters. But Avery himself is here, how cool is that? All right, I'll take it. So let's go ahead and fight. We're just going to do a super effective Max Lightning. It's gonna be the best thing for us. Because we've gone against quite a few uh, of these crawfish, whatever they're called. We should be able to handle it. And this will hopefully just, like I said, be even more experience. Even more of these mushrooms popping up. I just need two more for G-Max uh, Urshifu. So that's what I'm trying for. But for right now, Max Lightning! Boom! Wow, okay, so half of his health down right there. Call Daunt, that's his name. And the whole area becomes electrified. So we'll see what they end up doing. It might not be too crazy, but we'll just you know keep going with everything. Now he's gonna get a shield and become more aggressive but I think we can just handle that. They're gonna use Slash. So yeah, if they could just break down his shield a little bit, that'd be great. Uh, Max Geyser, oh boy. Who's that going against? Okay, not me, so we're fine. And who's gonna attack next? I wanna see how Avery does, but here's Snorlax just breaking down some of the shield. And I think we're about ready to use our move again. Yep, here we go. So can we do well enough that maybe, I w we will probably have to use three moves, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay, they are breaking your shield down a little bit more. That's what I, I'm hoping for, is that they can just sort of do some of that work, but couldn't do all of it, that's fine. Oh, it's still enough to take him down. Who needs the extra shield? That's weird when you think about it, but anyways, awesome. 
Let's try this out then. Catch, Pokeballs, and just go ahead and throw that. Um, that's really all we need to do here. So already, wow, two Dynamax battle battles done within two minutes. How crazy is that? I really like that it's much easier to stumble upon more accessible Dynamax battles here in the Isle of Armor than it was in the Gallery region where I was constantly getting hit with four or five star stuff I just could not complete. Um, I can actually do stuff here. So honestly, I was already enjoying Pokemon Sword and Shield a lot before, but I, I feel like Isle of Armor's really increased that, especially since I can now Dynamax Pokemon with the, the, the um, soup uh, more easily. So we get some experience, candies here, Dynamax Candy, Armorite Aura, Pearl, Scald Liquidation to Muddy Water. Cool. So with that done, um, no nickname for Crawdont. We're just gonna send you to a box. Obviously we already have Crawdont, so there's nothing big there. I'm just gonna be looking though for more Max Mushrooms. I, I think this is where the one Max Mushroom is supposed to show up. So the fact that it's not here means that we should probably teleport back and look at some other place now. Okay, so before we continue our search, I did wanna talk, I think this guy, there's somebody who teaches moves. Is it you again? Yeah, yeah, let's see. Remember a move, yeah, okay, it's this guy. He will teach me moves again, and I need it for Lickitung and Tangela. So basically what we gotta do here is uh, choose Tangela. This is just in any Pokemon Center, we can go to this guy. Um, so for Tangela, we need Tangela to relearn Ancient Power. So I can just choose a move, doesn't really matter which one. What, do you want your Pokemon to remember Move Bind? No, okay, oh, I see, uh, here we go, Ancient Power. I thought I was choosing over which move. Okay, so Ancient Power right there, um, we'll put that over Tickle. Doesn't really matter to me because I don't plan on using this Pokemon too much, and then we get, we're gonna do the same thing with Lickitung, and then after this, we just have to level them up, both just once. Um, well, actually, am I doing this? Wait, no, I <laughs> pressed the wrong button. Here we go, remember a move again, and I'm going to have you make Lickitung remember a move called Rollout. So, roll out is right here, it's another rock type move, and with that one, once again, it doesn't only matter, we'll put it over slam, sure, sounds fun to me. And then once we level up both of these Pokemon, they should evolve, and there's a couple of other Pokemon I need to do this with, um, but for right now, these two I have, I can do it with them, I think I can do it with Piloswine as well, but that's that's a Galarian Pokemon, so we'll get it back in the main series if we can. But right now, gonna go back to the town map, and I'm going to continue my search for more uh, mush mushrooms. So we checked already, the Courageous Cavern, couldn't find anything. Let's check now the Forest to Focus. Oh, so on my way, I found another Diglett. Let's go ahead and grab that. Whatever I get a chance to, I try to keep an eye out for him, because there's so many to find in the Soothing Wetlands. It's such a vibrant area too, here's another one. I'm doing a good job right now, but you never know when that might start falling apart. Uh, so there's that out of the way. I'm not seeing anything new though, in terms of other Pokemon around here, so. Yeah, I already have all you. Go ahead and grab this, so what is this? This is Grass Knot, TR-77. Okay, the user snares the target with grass and trips it. The heavier the target, the, the greater the move's power. Cool, so we might end up using that at some point, who knows, probably not. I never really use the TMs too much. Okay, that's Scruppy. We don't have to worry about you. Shows you how many Pokemon we've caught if I, I see so many Pokemon, I'm like, nope, 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 got it, got it, got it. <laughs> we still have so many more to get, but it's less than 100 now for, um the Isle of Armor, so that's pretty cool. So we're just looking around for Max Mushrooms. I really don't know where they could be. Be just about anywhere, um, but I will look. Sticky Barb, an item to be held by a Pokemon that damages the holder every turn and may latch onto a Pokemon that touched the holder. Huh, interesting. So where could, okay, there's an Oranguru. I mean, they're pretty noticeable. Ah, I was just about to, and now you just show up? After I taught the one Pokemon the move? Fine then, we'll just catch you, Tangrowth. <laughs> Isn't that just great? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so silly. Anyways, Tangrowth it is, let's throw a Pokeball. Well, I should have thrown a Quick Ball. I'm, I'm silly, I'm silly. I needed to get more Quick Balls as well. You know, maybe, I, maybe I'll leave this be. Maybe we'll just take you down and not really worry about it too much more than that on its roots, because we're about to literally get you. So, we'll just use play rough. I don't think this will have a type advantage, but it shouldn't have a type disadvantage, so. Ah, okay, maybe I should just use lightning. Power whip. Okay, that heals you a little bit, I guess. Oh, with the roots. That's what, that's what healed you, okay. Let's use spark. Come on. Boom. That does not do much, not very effective. They're using tickle. Ah, don't do that. <laughs> Making Jazzy laugh. 
Okay, so I think I might just keep with play rough. It was a little bit more damaging. So fight, play rough. Because this might be enough for, oh, there we go. There we go, nice. Critical hit. Um, This might be enough for our Tangler to level up. And then we can just have that turn into Tangrove. Not quite, but we're getting there. Um, For right now though, Lillipup levels up, which means that Lillipup should evolve into, I guess we're about to find out. Lillipup is so cute though. I have a hard time saying goodbye. Okay, so this will be the second of three evolutions for Lillipup, or I mean, I guess like, you know, if Lillipup is the first, this is the second. It is a Hurtier. Cool stuff. So there we go. Hurdy has been added to our Pokedex. I didn't mean to do that. Whoops, okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me go get Hurtier then, because I do want to read that. I also did do the uh, thing with the nursery so that we got all the other Pokemon that I transferred over from, po from Pokemon Home. They are now in our Pokedex, so that's cool. Here we go, Hurtier. Loyal dog Pokemon normal type. The black fur that covers this Pokemon's body is dense and springy. Even sharp fangs bounce right off. Very cool. So there's another one done. Very happy to see that. But where could there be some max mushrooms? That's what's most important to me right now. And it's, it's not quite going so well. It's weird how tough they've been to find, but what is this gonna be? Oh, electric dark type. Hmm. What could this be, actually? This could be, this could just be a, um, whatever Marnie has. I forget its name right now. But if it's dark and electric, we could do Urshifu. If it's, because fighting is good against dark, right? I always get it mixed up. I can't remember right now. Um, dark, yeah, fighting is good against dark. So we could go ahead and try this out with Urshifu and hope it goes well. It's only a three star. I've been on a roll with all the different um, Dynamax battles. I mean, to invite other people, but yeah, stop looking for participants and I will just do a normal one. Now make sure you don't choose Jazzy. I mean, I know that fairy type is, is, is fairy type good? Fairy type is twice as good. So like we could um, actually use Jazzy, but I want it to be a little bit more interesting than that, you know? So don't invite others. Let's try this out. Cause I used Jazzy last time. Let, let's get some variety in here. Even though we will be hopefully using Urshifu later once we eventually Gigantamax it, but I gotta find, okay, so I was right about this. It's a Morpeko. I don't think it's a G-Max Morpeko. I don't know if Morpeko can become Gigantamaxed. But I guess we'll find out at some point. Oh boy, oh boy. Sunlight's turned harsh. That should be fine. And we're just immediately going to go for a Dynamax Max Knuckle. We might as well do the one that's going to be... Well, actually no, this Max Knuckle does do more damage. Interesting. Um, yeah, let's give this a try then. Oh boy. I don't know how much damage it'll end up doing, but hopefully enough. I'm hoping for it. And let's see, he's ready to fight. So this is just Dynamax Urshifu, not Gigantamax. But if we get the mushrooms that I'm looking for in today's episode, maybe. And then there's still so many more other Pokemon I need to uh, Gigantamax that I'm looking to do soon. But look at this Super Punch, taking out half of more Pekka's health. So if we do that two more times, we're fine. We are totally fine. Even if they set up shields. Well, look at how tiny more Pekka was compared to Dynamax Urshifu. Okay, so they have a shield. It's not much of one, only three pieces to it, so we should be able to handle that no problem. Our teammates might be able to get rid of it before we even reach it, so we'll have to see how that works. I wish it was like a speed up button, though. I feel like that the Dynamax battles go on for a bit, you know, in a way that I, I don't really appreciate, but we'll do what we can about it. For right now, it's just gonna be battling. And pressing A as much as I possibly can. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice move there by the, uh, whatever that is. Ah, oh, now it's just us. Oh, you're in so much trouble. They might take him out before we get to that, that, but I guess we're about to find out. Defense harshly fell, or a wheel. Oh no, that's okay. Well, we're destroying this one. This one's going great. Whoa, oh, you're angry. <laughs> you don't like that. That's okay. We're still gonna take you out here. And, Boom, see you more Paco, I'm so sorry. But that's gonna be extra experience, for sure. 
And one thing that's great about this is I'm definitely getting more confident with the rest of my uh, Pokemon and like my battling skills. So I'm hoping that when we do go back to the Gower region and continue our main Pokemon Shield series, I'll be able to get some more Gigantamax Pokemon that way. Like I'm still trying to get Gigantamax Orbeetle and Toxtricity, and I think I'll be able to get those guys. Um, especially if we continue training up Tom, we're gonna to be getting tons of Dynamax candy here, which will definitely help with that. So I think, you know, there's some odds on our side here. We can actually get that done soon. Anyways, boom, that's another Pokemon caught, more Paco. But more importantly than that, we get some rewards here. So Experience Candies, M, L, Dynamax Candy, Armory Ore, Figgy Berry, Qualop Berry, Big Nugget, Wild Charge, and Electro Ball. Cool. And no nickname for more Paco. You're just gonna be sent to a box. We've already caught one, so it's, it's not anything new for us. And there we go. So where in the world are those Max Mushrooms? <laughs> Aha, here we go. I finally found one. Okay, so can't obtain a cluster of max mushrooms. That's amazing. Might as well shake some uh, some berry trees here while we're at it. Um, beyond that, we have two more places we can check. We can check the warm up, warm up tunnel and Brawler's Cave. Now we checked Brawler's Cave, I think it was, um, in the last episode, but I've now done several Dynamax battles since then. So it seems like there's plenty of opportunity for more of it to show up, right? So we should keep looking and maybe I'll keep searching the rest of the forest to focus while I'm here. So, if there's anything of interest around here, I thought I saw a diglet, but I guess I didn't. Aha, there is, wow, awesome. So more than one can show up in an area. It's not the same spot every time. So that's sort of both good to know, but also not the best news, because that means I have to really search each area every time I go there. And that's just a tad bit tedious. Oh, here's a diglet. Thought I saw something. And that means there's still six more to find in the forest to focus. You really gotta focus in on those diglets if you wanna find them all. I already have that Fenipede. What about over this way? Not seeing too much at the moment, so I think we're good to get out of here. But yeah, I'm glad I found two more, because I think I only needed three in total, right? So I already had one. So I think we're actually good to make Gigantamax Urshifu now, but we should continue searching. So the next area I needed to go to, once again, is Warm Up Tunnel. We take a look at the town map. That is Brawler's, oh, actually, no, we've gone to Warm Up Tunnel. We, we might as well fly over here right now. Uh, this is this this is Brawler's Cave, or Warm Up Tunnel. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, and this cave is very small, comparatively, so you'd think it, if there is anything. Oh, here's her again, Diggy Ma. Yeah, let's see if we can't get her to give me anything more than just nothing. Because usually she gives me one, she digs once, and it breaks immediately. Yeah, okay. That's fine with me. No, don't keep digging. I'm not gonna push my luck with that. Okay, and we'll, we'll go out of here and talk to Digging Pa so that we can get even more watts, because that is something I'm looking for. I don't need Cubone, though. He's adorable, but I don't need him. Because like I said, we did the uh, Pokemon Nursery, so I was able to register him and a couple of other, actually, maybe not him? I guess not, must have missed him. Okay, let's just throw the Pokeball then. Might as well, critical throw, that's awesome, so that should be enough. Yep, no problem. So there's another one for the Pokedex, Cubone. And that's level 54 for Lickitung, so that's gonna evolve now, awesome. Here we go. His tongue is so long. What? Look at tongue is evolving. So you know, now with that ancient power move, or no, that was a rollout that Lick a tongue had. It evolves into this guy. Lick a Lick a Licky. Licky Licky, I guess. Interesting Pokemon for sure. Licky Licky's data will be added to the Pokedex. It is a licking Pokemon, normal type. Licky Licky can do just about anything with its tongue, with which is as dexterous as the human hand. That's sort of gross, but okay. In contrast, Licky Licky's use of its fingers is clumsy, aw. And we should also get Cubone here as well, added to the Pokedex. Uh, lonely Pokemon, aw, ground type. This Pokemon wears the skull of its deceased mother. Sometimes Cubone's dreams make it cry, but each tear Cubone sheds makes it stronger. That's so sad! I'm sorry, Cubone. Don't cry. 
I just wanna, I wanna catch every Cubo and make sure they're not lonely anymore. So there's definitely not any over here. That's fine, just wanted to clear that out of the way as soon as I could. So now we're just gonna go back over this way, Challenge Road, Tower of Darkness, and go straight down into that cave. I mean, if I see any Pokemon I don't have, I'll go for it, but we already have that, that's Toxic Croak. And also, I haven't really looked around this area for Diglets too much, so if I can see one, might as well go for it. Two more, oh wow, there's really not much to find around this area then. I'll look for it, but who knows? <laughs> Just about anywhere. Okay, not seeing too much. Whoa, what is that though? Okay, I already have you, I already have you, <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> but maybe somewhere in this cave we can find something, and also, Glorian Pokemon. I've already given you a Weezing. Why do you want another one? Hmm, weird. So this cave's a bit bigger. Might take some work to find any potential uh, mushrooms, but I'll look around for them either way. I think we did find everything in terms of diglets in this cave, so don't have to worry about that at the least, so that's nice. I saw something on the floor. Hold on, get it. <laughs> a bag of Stardust. I really gotta figure out what we can do with Stardust because we have so much of it at this point, it's a little crazy. So I don't need Wismer or Swoobat, so I'm just ignoring all these guys. Who was that? Okay, that was just Swoobat again. Now you should probably say that you found the most awesome Pokemon ever. What is it gonna be? Uh, oh, Horsey. Yeah, we, we definitely wanna find Pokemon like that soon. But for right now. Any max mushroom around here. So it really might be that you don't get a max mushroom every time you Dynamax. Because I feel like if that was the case, we would have found some more by now. So there's none out this way, right? Not looking like there's a sandstorm going on right now. We're not done though. There's still a tiny bit more of this island to explore. Doesn't seem to be giving much results, but, or this cave that I called it island. Whoops, whoa, okay, that's a Marill. We already have that. Hardstone, but no mushrooms to be found. That stinks, but like I said, we might have enough as it currently is, now that we've done all that, to Dynamax Urshifu. The only way to find out is to just go over here and try to piece it together. Okay, so let's first get Urshifu out here, and we're just gonna put that over Licky Licky, obviously, since we don't need that anymore, so that should work out just fine. And let's see if we have enough. I might need one more, if so that's gonna be a bit of a bummer, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, do you wanna give your Pokemon Max Soup? Yes. Which Pokemon do we want to give Max Soup? Um, Urshifu, right down this way, oh boy! And we of course got the one um, thing from the quest to be able to Gigantamax Urshifu. If this Urshifu drinks Max Soup, it will become capable of Gigantamaxing. I use three clusters of Max Mushroom and one comb of Max Honey to make Max Soup. Is that all right? Of course. So here we go! Oh boy. Uh, Urshifu is now capable of Gigantamaxing. Nice. So. That's it, we're just going to uh, go and do a Gigantamax battle and see how that goes with Urshifu. As you can see, if we check the summary, right next to his name and the summary, it has the X now, which means he can Gigantamax. He has King's Rock item. I do need that for trading for another Pokemon at some point. Anyways, doesn't matter to me too, too much right now. I just need to find maybe um, a raid where we can keep up with something, or I can just choose one around here. I can use one of my many wishing pieces. That shouldn't be too big of a deal, right? So. Guess we'll try that out a little bit. Ah! Right, right into a Jigglypuff. I'm still looking for the Moonstone for a Jigglypuff. I'm just gonna leave this be, I think. Or I could just one hit takedown, maybe, with Jazzy. Oh, I should probably have checked. Is Urshifu even at full health right now? I'm not sure. I guess not. Okay, either way, boom, get some extra experience there. What, I think Urshifu might be at full health, but might not be uh, with full PP for all of its moves. Yeah, that might be the case. Uh, check summary. It doesn't really tell you here. Okay, yeah, three out of five for a close combat. Let's restore. And there should be something that restores PP, right? Um, elixir. I don't know if I wanna use this because I only have one of them. Don't know if I have too many other options. Oh, here we go. Max ether. So yeah, there's ethers as well. Do we not have a normal ether? Oh, here we go. 
That's all I need, really. Um, just to use it on there. There we go, so we're basically ready to go with Urshifu if we just put down a wishing piece in here. So, it might not be the battle for Urshifu, who knows. But there we go. And let's try this out. Water ground. Um, I don't remember if that's better or worse, so we're just going to, we're just gonna try it. Uh, for, because it's fighting dark. What is fighting weak against? Flying, psychic, and fairy. So we should be fine in that way. Dark um, is weak to fighting, and bug, and fairy. So neither of those, so we should be okay. So let's select Urshifu, and we'll be able to see Gigantamax Urshifu, that'll be cool. I don't know if either of these are strong against what we're going against, but that's not as much of a worry to me as much as being weak to other things. It's a five star, but we'll just go at it, see how this turns out. For me, it's sort of more about seeing the Gigantamax Urshifu, because I don't think we've seen Gigantamax of this form. We've seen it of the other form when we battled with, um, what is his name? Uh, Mustard, Master Mustard had a Gigantamax Urshifu of the water variety. So let's try this out. We're going to fight Dynamax and do Max Knuckle, or G-Max One Blow. It's effective, we might as well try it, because, no, 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 hold on. Fight Dynamax. This would do 90 damage, 110, 95, 130. Going for it against Quagsire, because all these moves are just normally effective, so we might as well continue with this one. This is so cool! Let's see him! So will he be like in a different pose than the other Urshifu? I think so. Whoa, look at him! Wow, I like it. So I don't know how that would have looked for the, well, no, we do know how it looked for the water one. It definitely was a bit different, I think. Anyways, G-Max one blow, it doesn't do much. Wow, it really doesn't do much. <laughs> but it's getting desperate, so. <laughs> like I said, we might not win, but I just wanted to see Gigantamax Urshifu, and we get to see it, so that's cool. But yeah, definitely let me know which Pokemon have you been able to Gigantamax with the G-Max suit? Oh wow, that hurt. It's actually going right for me instead of the competition. And Avery is here with us during this battle as well. He's been all over the place. Unfortunately though, it looks like we might not get a win here. If that's the case, so be it, I'm fine with that. Oh, okay, we're gonna get healed all the way back at the full. That's good. And Quagsire's gonna use Amnesia. That should be fine. So who am I gonna work on Gigantamaxing next? We have a lot of Pokemon that could potentially Gigantamax and I'll have to think about it. But definitely I like, it. it's been worth the effort so far. It's really fun to grind up the mushrooms too. I mean, it's it can be a little bit tedious at times trying to find them, but honestly it could be worse. So I think that's fine. So if I look up all of the different possible Gigantamax Pokemon, right? Um, which ones do we have? out of all that. So like obviously Venusaur, we have Gigantamax, Charizard. We don't have Blastoise yet, but what I could always do, and this is something I plan on doing soon, maybe as of next episode, is I want to go and catch a Squirtle and let's go Pikachu, and then I'm going to transfer it over through Pokemon Home, and then get it through the Pokedex, Pokedex that way. That should work. Um, there's also Butterfree, which we have a Butterfree. We already have Pikachu, Meowth, and uh, there was one more, Eevee. There's Machamp, which we don't even have Machamp yet, so I'll have to figure that out. Anyways, we'll just do G-Max one blow again. It's not much, but it's something. I mean, Quagsire's getting lower, so it's possible we could win this. That did nothing, though. Why is that not doing, I, I really haven't been paying much attention to this battle, have I? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Maybe it's because that's like when it's supposed to set up the shield. There's also G-Max Kingler, Lapras we have, so that's cool. We don't have G-Max Lapras, but we have a Lapras. Also G-Max Gengar, Garbodor, we have that Pokemon. Uh, Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Teleon. Same thing, I need a set of trades for that. Luckily, I have a second Switch, and you know I have the cartridge version of this game, so I can load that up and do some trades that way. So I'll, I'll make sure to record all that. There's also Gigantamax, Corviknight, Orbeetle, Dreadnought, Colossal, Flapple, Appleton, which are both the same. Sandaconda, Toxtricity, Centiscorch, Hatterene, Grimmsnarl, Alcremie, Caparaja, Duraludon, Urshifu, and Urshifu. There's a lot to do there, but I think that we could just keep working on it and get there eventually. So let's go out and try close combat a little bit. I mean, it's not much damage. I don't think we're gonna win. 
But I could keep trying and just hope for it. Alrighty. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, not good. Alright, that hit Togepi. So Togepi's knocked out. Once again, not good to see, but we'll just keep moving. We might be able to take out this Quagsire, but everything is growing stronger. I'm getting a little bit worried because we just did turn four, I think. The shield is broken, though. I don't know, it's possible. If we just keep hitting with everything we got, they're using money water on us, which hurts, but we're fine. The only problem is everybody else is getting knocked out. Oh my gosh, why? What? Why did it do so much damage that time? <laughs> I don't understand Dynamax battles sometimes. I'm gonna catch you, even though I don't need you too much. I already have this Pokemon. Let's get it. <laughs> okay. Let's give it a go. And so with this, we catch a Quagsire. This is a five star, so we should be getting some major rewards. I'm looking forward to it. Come on. And there we go. So Quagsire's caught. But more importantly, we should be getting some Dynamax candy, some experience candy. Um, so we get experience candies L, XL, Dynamax candies. Armite Ore, Waterfall, Surf, Muddy Water, and Hydro Pump. Very cool. Of course, if I ever have the chance to battle and catch a Gigantamax Pokemon, I'm always going to choose that option first, but if that option isn't available to me, then I'm definitely going to use the soup for it. So anyways, that was fantastic. I'm really glad that we were able to check out Gigantamax Urshifu. We still have more things we can do in today's episode as well. There's a lot of Pokemon in my inventory that need to be leveled up. And we can see that um, Tangela, Fletchender, Fomantis, and Hurtier. And I can also get something instead of Urshifu. So I might do that real quick, and then we'll try to take on more Pokemon. Maybe I'll go to the waters, because I think there's a lot of Pokemon in the water I've yet to catch. Okay, so I have a Molga here, level 60, can be evolved. Well, actually, can it? No, it can't, Never mind. I got that mixed up. And then there's Dedene, which also can't be evolved. Okay, well, I was just wrong with that then. What do I have? Magnemite, Magnemite, because, no. Magnemite evolves into Magneton, which we have now. Um, but then that can evolve into Magnazone, but that just needs a Thunderstone, which we should have, so I might figure that out now, over this way. Magneton, this should be in our Pokedex as well. I might want to double check that before we evolve it, but after that, yeah, we will uh, evolve it into Magnezone. So first off, Isle of Armor Pokedex number 106. Yeah, we do have it, Magneton. So what we need to do here is pretty simple. I just need to go to my bag, and I should have a Thunderstone. Uh, so that would be in other items. Uh, that's Firestone there. Maybe we don't? I don't know. I really hope we do, though. Which was the way to organize? Oh, wait, sort. Here we go. By name. Okay, so... I guess I don't have a thunderstone. Geez, there's a lot of stones here that I really need, apparently. I thought I had one, but nope. That's a shame. Well, actually, it could be, no. I was pressing the wrong button there. Okay, so, yeah, I guess not. Okay, so another one is Poliwhirl. This one I definitely can level up and get evolved, so after that, or Poliwag into Poliwhirl. After that, I also need to do Azuril, so we'll try to do that in a little bit. But yeah, we're just gonna go back out to the water and just try to level up these Pokemon that way for now. I might want to sort of work my way over, or at the least, maybe I should start in the water over this way and go into that cave, because I just want to make extra sure that didn't there weren't any more uh, Max Mushrooms that could have popped up while we did more Dynamax battles, because we've done a couple since we've last been at this cave at the beginning of today's episode. So that's what we sort of have to figure out, is like how we want to sort of find a, a pattern for that, a rhythm, really. I'm sure there's a way, but for right now, nothing in this one. Okay, just wanted to check. And what about around here, then? Got some Armorite Aura. If that doesn't lead to too many places. So I just really have to check, not looking like down that way, but over here again. Yeah, this is where we battled earlier, like I said, but we've done quite a few since then, is the thing. But I'm not seeing too much more. So it really might not be that every Dynamax raid ends up with a mushroom around. We just have to do quite a lot of them. Oh my gosh, okay, we're taking on Swoobat then. Or Woobat. 
This is a flying type, so Jazzy should be able to handle it no problem. And then we will go to the water and start doing some some battling there. So Spark, one hit takedown, easy enough. And Jazzy's almost at level 99. I think the max level is 100, so after that, we might want to switch out whoever we have in front. This is somebody else, whatever else we can do, really. Uh, so yeah, we'll, it's gonna take a lot of chipping through to get that extra experience that we need, but we're getting there, that's for sure. So you're quickly checking, is it over here then? No. So I guess we're out of luck. Oh, is this a tentacruel right here? We already have one, I believe. We'll go after this just to make sure. So here we go, a wild tentacruel. It looks so creepy, I don't like it. Yeah, we have it, okay. So, we are just immediately going to hit this with a spark as well. It should be a pretty easy one hit takedown. Not a Pokemon we run into often, so I'm hoping some good experience comes of it. And, yeah, decent chunk right there, awesome. The more evolved Pokemon typically give you a more evolved amount of experience. What do you know? See, now that we're out of the water, I'm just gonna be exploring some of this. There are definitely some islands here I've not touched upon either, so. There should be a good chunk of stuff I can do. What is this? Whoa, also I don't have Sandy Gas, so this is great. Um, a rare candy, thank you. I have TR25 Psy Shock. sure. And I guess I've already gotten that in the past. There's a little Diglett here, there's a couple actually. All right, so Diglett right there. That is five more remaining. And I saw another one right over this way. Pretty cool. Is there any more on this little sliver of an island? Not really. But I do have a bag of soft sand. Okay, so Sandy Gas is who I'm going for right now. I don't have this one. I think this can evolve into something I also don't have. Like Sandy Castle or something. But for right now, I'm just going to immediately throw out a quick boss. My last one too, a little bittersweet in that way. I'll definitely have to get more at the end of today's episode or between episodes or something. But for right now, boom, there's another Pokemon caught, Sandy Gast. And we'll have to level that one up to evolve it, like I said, at some point. Shouldn't be that big of a deal, but some more bonus experience. And Sandy Gast is added to the Pokedex. So it is a Sandy Pokemon Ghost Ground type. Sandy Gast mainly inhabits beaches. It takes control of anyone who puts their hand into its mouth, forcing them to make its body bigger. Weird. But, um, all right, sending you to a box for right now. Beyond that, there's a lot of grap locked here. I already have grap locked, and I don't know if it's the easiest thing to take down, so I'm gonna leave it be. Even if it is just taking out really easy tentacles, sometimes that's just the best way to go, right? So if we can just take this out, might as well go for it. Yeah, there's just so many Pokemon to catch, but we're making some excellent progress just in general. Really happy to say. Okay. So I'm not gonna worry about too many more Dynamax battles in today's episode though, simply because I don't really wanna use up too much because they only give experience to the first Pokemon or the only Pokemon we use. They don't give experience to our entire team. And that's just not the most productive for what we're trying to do right now. Anyways, here's Wingull. Let's give this a go. So, just gonna knock you out real quick. If we do see a new Pokemon, of course we'll go for it, but if we don't, We'll just keep gathering experience. Because I think this should be a level up for Flinchinder. Very nice. So there we go. Flinter, Flinchinder is going to evolve. Uh, Flinchinder is evolving. And this should be the third and final evolution for it. That's really, really cool. Wow. Okay, so Flinchinder evolved into Talonflame. Very cool, for sure. And as you can see, Talonflame Zeta will be added to the Pokedex. It is a scorching Pokemon, fire flying. Talonflame dives towards prey at speeds up to 310 miles per hour and assaults them with powerful kicks, giving the prey no chance to escape. That is very fast. Very scary. So we'll take you on as well. I think we have you. Octillery, I'm pretty sure. But it's always good to make sure of that. Like extra, extra sure. Yep, okay, we have Octillery, so I'm just gonna knock you out with another Spark. Maybe we'll go into one of these islands and like, poke around at least a little bit, you know? That might be fun. Especially if we could potentially find some new Pokemon, even if we don't have Quick Balls. Tangela gets a level 61 and Fomantis, so that should be two more evolutions right here. And this is exactly what I was looking for. 
So here we go, Fomantis is evolving. What, Fomantis is evolving, that's what I just said. What do you know? Whoa, look at that, it has little circus pants. Fomantis evolved into Lorantis. Cool. So, Bloom Sickle Pokemon, Grass type. The petals on this Pokemon's arms are thin and super sharp, and they can fire laser beams if Lorantis gathers light first. Huh. Laser beams, gotcha. Blizzard, okay, yeah, sure. We don't see too many Pokemon with um, Petal Blizzard. Oh, Petal Blizzard, interesting. Sure, we'll put that over to Leaf Blade. I don't know if I'll be using this Pokemon too much, but very cool to have it. Very adorable. And after that, Tangela is evolving as well. So this one, we already know what it's evolving into. We've seen it, we've battled it, but now we have it. This is Tangrowth, I think? Yeah, Tangrowth. It's a very big Pokemon. So I guess all of that, uh, the tangled weeds have grown into a very big mess. It's a vine Pokemon, grass type. Vine growth is accelerated for Tangrowth living in warm climates. If the vines grow long, Tangrowth shorens them by tearing parts, parts of them off. Huh, does that hurt? Who knows? Anyways. That was very cool. I think that for right now, we'll go into an island and see if we can't find any new Pokemon. There's more Sandy Ghast, of course, but, and Pincurchin, which we found earlier. And then there are some like little dents here. Might as well get some extra energy out of them. What do we got here, a pearl. I need to start selling some of that stuff. I have a bunch of items I need to sell. There's another little rock rough. Don't need to worry about that, because last episode, we evolved our rock rough into a lichen rock. And this is another Diglett. Three more in Loop Lagoon, which I guess is where we are right now. Let's shake this a couple of times. There we go. One more. And one more. Not really getting too much from this one. They're just three berries, one berry per shake. It's actually uncommonly little, and they're all three Qualop berries. What is that? Okay, that's the thing that evolves in the grap locked. I'm not seeing too much at the moment. More grap, grap locked, whatever it is. Uh, and a jar of sea incense. An item to be held by a Pokemon. This incense has a curious aroma that boosts the power of water type moves. Ooh, sounds pretty good. And then over this way, we have extra energy. Ooh, 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 I don't have a quick ball right now. Darn, Alkazam. If I had a quick ball right now, that'd be great because it's Abracadabra Alkazam. Alkazam's the last one we need. Let's go ahead and try to hit you with an immediate nuzzle and hope that that works because Alkazam, all these guys, usually I know at least in Let's Go Pikachu, they would get scared and teleport away almost immediately. Doesn't affect Jazzy. He's calm mind. Oh boy. Is that gonna power him up? I guess so. Special attack rose. Here we go, come on. Let's just immediately throw out an Ultra Ball. Will this work? If I could catch an Alkazam right now, that'd be great, because then I don't have to worry about trading it. Please? No! It was so close! Future Sight. I mean, as long as you're not teleporting away. So, let's go ahead and use an Ultra Ball again. I gotta get it this time, come on. He's at the yellow health. I really can't attack him anymore without it knocking him out. Yes, there it is, we get Alkazam! So we don't have to worry about training our Kadabra or anything like that. We got it. level 99 for Jazzy. I'm so proud. Herdier is almost at a level up as well, which will evolve that. Um, Alkazam's data will be added to the Pokedex. This is a Psy Pokemon Psychic type. Alkazam wields potent psychic powers. It's said that this Pokemon used these powers to create the spoons it holds. Awesome, so I'm not gonna say um, any nickname for you. Not gonna add you to the party, but there we go. Oh, I'm so happy about that. What a nice find here. That's why it's good to go to these, you know, strange islands. What was that? Oh no, just more Sandy Cast. Okay. So, so happy about that, though. Wasn't what I was expecting. Hi, Gyarados. Let's battle you, actually. That'd be some nice experience for us all. Okay, Wild Gyarados. And just gonna smack you with an electric move, as we normally do. Just hit you with Spark. Should be a one-hit takedown. 
So I think that, yeah, we're one level away from Jazzy being at max level. Isn't that crazy? I'm so excited for that. Okay, so there's Herdier getting a level up, and that should be Herdier's evolution. Yep. All right, Herdier. You weren't Herdier for very long. You're evolving into your final form now, which is, oh, such a big pup. It is Stoutland. Cool stuff. So there we go, let's see Stoutland in the Pokedex as well. Big hearted Pokemon, normal type. Stoutland is immensely proud of its impressive mustache. It's said that mustache length is what determines social standing among the species, as it should be. <laughs> okay, well, let's go ahead and get some extra watch right there. And what else is going on around here? Probably not too much more, there's more Gyarados and stuff. I don't actually need too many more level ups. Stepping Stone Sea. I haven't been out this way. I am curious to see what this raid is. I don't know if we'll tackle it today. I think we're just about done. I don't know if I want to do any more raids. But what I do want to see is that I've been meaning to talk about this, but there's a current event going on, and I think it's lasting for like another week or so, and I really hope I can get to it, where there is a legendary Pokemon. Oh, Max Revive, nice. And what is this? Toxic Orb. Now, I don't to be held by Pokemon. It's a bizarre orb that will badly poison the holder during battle. Um, But yeah. There is an event going on where there's a legendary Pokemon that if over a million trainers defeat it, we all get a shiny version of it. So I'd really like to get, you know, in on that and help with winning, but I'm not sure how that's gonna work out. Either way, we do find a Diglett right here. Six more Diglett to find on Steppy, Stepping Stone C, uh, Bag of Stardust, and what will this be then? 2,000 watts. Oh, a little Cubone or Marowak or something. Interesting, so maybe this is where we'll start next episode. We'll try to do more Dynamax raids to get more Max Soup, to get more of everything else. It'll be great. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield of the Isle of Armor DLC. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.